Hi guys, how's it going? Um, this is just a video I'd like to make about uh, a book I wrote a few years ago, which I'll leave the link um, off to the side. It's about, um, mostly about um, what's happening today actually. Um, now, I started this book about 12 years ago and I finished it. Um, run about, um, run about ten years ago or so, I finished the book, and since then, obviously, a few years later, I got online and discovered that many of the things that the Holy Spirit was leading me in in God's Word were were being touched on today. Um, you know, things like such as Planet X, things such as giants, Nephilim. Um, been found and so on which are spoken about in the Bible um, now I'd just like to read the synopsis of this book and which will make it available for download um, on my website which I'll give you a link to uh, where you can download it for free and here it is so the brief synopsis says the roots of civilization are a distant mystery to us the rise and fall of so many empires, so many legends and great rulers and ancient symbols i.e. you know what do they stand for they're a bit of a mystery and basically people like to associate themselves with symbols or say this, God rep that this symbol represents my god and so on where does that all come from? some scratchings of scribes, seers, ancient cave drawings of gods, fallen stars and all the religious writings leaders such as the Pope, Muhammad and many others. Now, you know, just take a look at all the, the YouTube videos we're seeing. And, uh, you know, things like um, cave uh, drawings and uh, things such as stars in the Bible do represent not um, fixed heavenly bodies which planets revolve around um, stars sometimes speak of angels and that's a key to understanding what's uh, in revelation uh, for us in the last days what's about to happen um, and it's going to be pretty spectacular I believe uh, you know whether we can prove it or not um, it's an, it doesn't really matter because these things are written in God's word then the rather distorted promise from a Semitic God of eternal life distorted perhaps because um, you know because of the concept that people think they have to work for it or um, go to a specific thing to attain it but all we really have to do is keep believing the son of God and who he is and keep believing in him not stop believing in him but keep believing in him um, and, you, and as Paul said in Romans 3.31 if you keep believing in him he will establish his Torah his laws in your life and his Torah is not burdensome ok and those that love me obey my commandments remember these things so let us strive for that perfection one of the reasons I'm making these videos guys is for you the born again believer to discern and to strive for that which is perfect um, which is already uh, given through his son uh, Jesus Christ or Yeshua the Messiah but we must keep believing in him we must keep ourselves unspotted from the world and all the ancient scriptures that point to the way or Yeshua is the way the truth and the life from a fallen creation long lost in danger of destroying itself all ringing true today perhaps more so than any other time in our history there's definitely um, no other time in history that um, we've had so much information and the scripture in Daniel saying that in the last days knowledge will increase well I believe that's happening right now um, because um, you know, the more you see, okay, um, I think one of the ancient symbols for uh, for education is simply an eye, 
and it is represented uh, in, in our alphabet as well. And I guess uh, seeing is learning. Um, so that's how that's basically the nature of, um, you know, if we read our Bibles, then our nature will be transformed uh, to that which is perfect, which is Christ. Okay, but if you keep watching a load of garbage on the TV or on YouTube or on the internet, then your nature is going to be affected, and you know it's going to go against the nature that uh, that, that Christ gave you when you're born again. Now, even the people that are not born again, of course, listening to this, I hope um, this is a testament, at least that there are real Christians out there that have testaments and that are examples, good examples for you in this life. Um, just as, as a prayer now that uh, you'll, you'll come into faith and continue in faith in the Messiah, Jesus Christ, in Yahshua. Is, as as I've came, come to know him as because that is the, the, the Hebrew Aramaic name that I prefer to use the question of life outside our own solar system has been asked for many years evidence of great destruction hangs around our own planetary systems from ages past or even perhaps from the beginning Um, now, yeah, I'm a creationist. Uh, no, I don't teach uh, the gap theory or specifically that there's been no past ages before Adam. Um, I, I think probably the evidence points to a 6,000 year old Earth, but even uh, even if it's you know longer than 6,000 years, uh, we don't really know how long it's been here for. But certainly. Uh, you know, I'm I'm quite prepared to accept that it's six thousand years old. Um, but evidence in the contrary doesn't prove to me that there's no creator. Um, now I've called it Rahab. The Bible calls, um, I believe, in certain uh, Psalms and in Isaiah, the word Rahab is used out of context. Um, uh, it may mean Egypt. It may mean the prostitute um, as well. Um, that helped Israel so she was blessed uh, for doing that but uh, it could also mean the exploded planet between Mars and Jupiter which uh, this book is really about I had no knowledge of any of this before I was on the internet but uh, but uh, you know when I came on the internet I discovered that there was indeed a meteor cloud between these two planets which represents um, in my book Rahab or some people call it um, Nibiru the novel which setting up that has abundant life and is under threat too from a mysterious force they say that pure love casts out all fear but how far can one carry that truth into an undiscovered and turbulent universe and survive I guess as believers we know that um, our love is always being attacked because the world hates um, but as believers we love and we try to do good whenever people do bad to us and this is the teaching that uh, Jesus Christ gave his disciples um, which is an outstanding attribute and it's a non-worldly attribute you know it does come from a different kingdom which is not of this world remember Messiah says I am not of this world I'll just continue this video soon with some more readings